MS doesn't just impact the people who have the disease, but it affects their family, friends, co-workers, and other caregivers. The Gateway Area Chapter helps thousands of families every year. When I was younger, I didn't really understand what it was. I mean, I knew my mom had it, but I just didn't know what multiple sclerosis was. She introduced me to the MS Society, and uh, I got a lot more information about it, and I actually have started to like, talk to my friends because they don't necessarily understand what MS is and I'm trying to help through my mom like raise awareness to other people about it. She's actually the one who introduced me to the um, MS Society scholarship that they had which was awesome. I knew that I wanted to go to Mizzou and I was like that'd be a very awesome way for them to help me and my dad called me and said he's like you have a, a, a envelope from the MS Society and I drove home, I was over at my friend's house and I was so excited to open it and I thought maybe it was going to be one of those congratulations but we did not accept you and then I read it and I was just so ecstatic because they accepted me and it really did help because I honestly don't think I would have been able to afford a school that was as prestigious as Mizzou if it was not for their help which I'm very thankful for. One of the most important things that the MS Society has taught me is that people like me and you, you know, we can walk a straight line easily, we can tie our shoes easily, and people don't think about the simple things in life like that. They don't really, they're not really thankful for the very simple things in life that you can do very easily, but there are some people out there who it's not as easy for them to do the small things in life. My mom has one of the more severe um, forms of MS. It progresses a lot faster than other people's MS. It's very hard for her to walk and it's very hard for her to like hold things without shaking her hands and stuff. But uh, she, she fights at it. She's doing really good though. She's a fun person. She's uh, a wonderful mother. She's always been there for me. Um, she's a fighter and she's gonna get through that mess. I love my mom a lot. This program brought to you by Pfizer and EMD Serono, maker of Rebirth. The MS Society depends upon a network of friends, partners, corporate sponsors, and volunteers. My wife, Dina, was diagnosed with MS in 1992. When, when she was first diagnosed, uh, how did I feel? Uh, I think it was fear and anxiety. Uh, you know, what does this mean for us? What is our future? Um, will she be in a wheelchair? In a year, uh, will she be able to talk? Will she be able to see? Will she be, you know, how, what effects is it going to have on her functions of life? The effects are, are different for different people, but uh, nonetheless, they are debilitating for everyone. And uh, those of us that are healthy, healthy need to help those that need help that have MS. You know, it, it enhanced our relationship I and mean, actually in a way brought Dean and I closer together because of uh, her need for me and, and my needs for her. We, we did a lot of aggressive treatments and we did a lot of aggressive things to try to manage the de disease. Uh, Dina, her objective was to spend as much time, quality time with Morgan as she possibly could and she fought very hard to fight off the effects of the disease. We, we looked into the MS Society but we were technically managing the disease and doing a lot on our own. It was probably a mistake because we didn't take advantage of the MS Society early on. We uh, tended to manage the disease on our, on our own. And then along the way, you know, Dean and I became more involved in how we could, we could help other people. We, uh, they'd ask us a few times to speak at, uh, at a few evening events they would have on how to keep your marriage together or how to deal with, deal with it when your, your spouse leaves you and you have MS and what you can really do, although that wasn't our case. but. 
it was kind of neat that we were able to go there and talk about how we keep our marriage together, how we do it as we raise Morgan and so on. I think everyone, if you have MS, needs to try to take a full advantage of the MS Society and what there is to offer. There's probably more offered there than what there is people who take advantage of it, which is, is really a shame. We need, and we, you really need to get that message out. I don't think the way we did it was really the right way to do it. I think in, in hindsight, I would have gotten more involved in the MS Society day one when we moved to St. Louis, and then we would have found out all of the other things that were available to us as a household with MS, but also ways that we can contribute, you know, to raising money or other activities as volunteers. Um, and we missed some of that, and I hate that, but we did miss it, and so my message, if there is a message everyone else is, take advantage of it now. You don't even have to have MS. If you just have a heart to want to help somebody, you know, there's, a, you know, there's volunteer activities, get involved, It'll, you'll, you'll be the winner of it. You will find more joy by helping others who have this terrible disease that they contracted to no fault of their own and they become a prisoner in their own body and they can't help it and they need us to help them. In Dina's case, there was obviously clear some sort of autoimmune issue going on. It was MS, but then other many things and she, she eventually had uh, congestive heart failure she eventually lost her kidney function and a lot of other associated type, what I would call autoimmune attributes began to manifest. And then, you know, in the last few years, she got more debilitated. She come eventually became totally wheelchair bound and she got the flu one day. And as we all read about people who get the flu that are typically die from that are people that have other illnesses or young children or older people. Unfortunately, Dina was 41. From the time she got sick to the time she was gone was about 12 hours, but um, um, she actually died in my car as I was taking her to the hospital. So it was, uh, we were talking and going, but uh, you know, I've had a blessed life uh, in many ways. A wonderful daughter and, um, and uh, we, have, we had an excellent relationship and I had the honor to take care of her for 19 years. And uh, my daughter and I are just taking the legacy forward.